Okay, now let me invite Dr. Jason Blackburn to give us an inspirational message. So Dr. Blackburn is an associate professor in our department who specialized in medical geography and spatial epidemiology. Jason. Great, thanks, can you hear me okay? Yes, I can. Great, thanks everybody. Uh, first, thanks for organizing this, Dr. Mao and everybody that's uh, participating. It's a pretty amazing event to see everybody connected. Uh, I was asked to, or volunteered slash asked as we debated uh, who would give this uh, inspiration. I think any of the faculty could. Um, and I think uh, medical geography, as, as everyone's reflected today, uh, is just the lens that we're seeing geography through today because we're in the middle of, a, of an unexpected, uh, well, let me rephrase that. We're in the middle of uh, a never before seen pandemic, but not entirely unexpected, particularly in the medical geography program here where many of us focus on zoonotic diseases, these kinds of diseases that make the leap uh, from animals to humans. And so many of us in the department have been working on those kinds of problems for some time. And so I think this pandemic really just reflects uh, a small portion of what geography does. Um, I think in terms of inspiration, it's not really us, the faculty, it's really the students that are here today. You've shown us how to be flexible. You've shown us how to adapt and you're all excelling and achieving. So that's been, uh, I think, really fun and motivational for us. Um, I think a lot of us have, have talked about and commented. In fact, we just heard the candy reference. Uh, I'm not even a big candy eater, and Jane has me sold on uh, stealing more candy than I need. Uh, Jane has overhauled that physical space in an amazing way. Um, but I think what we see today is that space is, is everywhere because it's in us. Um, so that's been very exciting to see. Uh, this pandemic has shown us with things like dashboards, social media maps, New York Times uh, maps all over the place that these geospatial analyses are everywhere. But it's not just in mapping the outbreak that geography has been uh, excelling. We're seeing it in all the discussions about social inequity. We're seeing it in all the discussions about where to reopen and how to reopen and when to reopen and what are our healthcare access demands? Um, <clears throat> all of the discussions about flattening the curve have really been geography discussions. Where do we focus those energies first? So we've been seeing geography matter across the board, uh, not just in medical geography. Uh, I just think this is an event that puts us front and center. I think come uh, August and September, another group of our faculty will be right in the mix of it front and center talking about hurricane risks, talking about community resiliency. Uh, so those uh, faculty will, will have uh, as much to say then uh, as we do now. So I think uh, the Geography Matters slogan has been floating around for a long time. And I think events like this uh, globally and communities coming together like we have today just show uh, how it matters and why it matters. So I'll end with what I started with. The inspiration isn't us, it's really you and the fact that, uh, that everybody showed up today. And uh, as students, you just put your head down and went to work. And I think as you move into your careers, uh, that's the most successful thing you can do is just find a way to drown out the noise and keep pressing on. And you've done that. So thanks and uh, congratulations.